to our channel and back to bartending at home with John and Kim. So today, as promised, we will be using the monkey shoulder for two cocktails. I will be making the Ace of Diamonds. So it's from Small Screen Drinks. It's usually called Ace of Clubs. We don't have a club cookie cutter. And it was easier to do the diamond. So yes. Bear with us. This is a lovely drink because it utilizes ginger liqueur as well, which pairs very well with scotch. And yeah, it's very tasty. I'll be making a malt jockey. So it is also inspired by an, uh, another YouTube page. So they call it a variation of a Manhattan and a jockey club. If you'd like to see how these drinks are made, please stay tuned. So we're starting off with one and a half ounce of monkey shoulder. Three quarter ounce of sweet vermouth. And it calls for half a teaspoon. So we're just gonna use a bar spoon. I've never done this before. And we're gonna finish it off with charred cedar bitters instead of the chocolate bitters because we don't have any. <laughs> Add some ice for the dilution, give it a nice stir. Strain it into a coupe glass. And you garnish it with an orange twist. It's okay. So for the ace of diamonds, we're gonna have two ounces of the monkey shoulder. I'm gonna do half ounce of the lovely ginger liqueur. And three dashes of Angostura bitters. Just gonna add your ice and give that a stir. And then you're just going to strain that into a whiskey glass. That's with a lovely large ice cube or sphere in our case. All right, so here's our garnish. I just used a paring knife to carefully cut out a diamond. Watch your fingers, friends. Okay, and you're just going to lay that on the glass like that. And there you have it. We have our Ace of Diamonds and Malta Jockey. Mm. Yeah, so it's um, it, it really is similar to a uh, Manhattan. I've ha I haven't oh, yeah. had a jockey club before, but it's it's a little bit sweeter. Uh, the cedar bitters are quite light. We've never used them before; just opened them. But it's a it's a nice little smokiness to it. Yeah, but I can definitely see how like the chocolate bitters would bring out the malt. Yeah. So that'll be the next thing on the list. Give it a try. I really like the Ace of Diamonds just because. The ginger pairs so well with the scotch. And it's quite smooth and you still like get some spicy notes out of it. Oh, I really like yours. <laughs> yeah, the ginger pairs really well with the, with the monkey shoulder. And uh, honestly, both of us haven't had monkey shoulder before this, so we weren't sure what to expect. Yeah. And it's it's quite nice. Would recommend. So they say that it's it's more approachable than a single malt scotch. So for those who are beginner scotch drinkers, I would definitely recommend the monkey shoulder. Give it a try. And like John said in previous video, it's more affordable than other. What? Well, so it's a blended it's a blended malt like uh, like Johnny Walker. So Johnny Walker is very popular, but I mean the Monkey Shoulder is a better quality uh, if you're in that same sixty dollar price range. And that is it for today. Remember, you'll never succeed if you're afraid to try. Be adventurous, my friends, and drink responsibly. Oh, man.